Okay, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today we have a new Carnival SVC for you guys. As you guys will see right here, we have the 90 rated center midfield Tiago uh, SVC cheapest solution. Guys, we have currently 18 likes on the last flashback video which was Bradley and then DeAndre Yedlin Carnival SVC. So we could hit 18, over 18, let's hit 20. 20 likes on this video for this Carnival uh, Tiago SVC. That would be great man if this video does help you out in any way in any way shape or form drop a like share this video with your friends so that you can get it for the cheapest way as well as this card actually somewhat looks decent um but it's not worth it honestly it's 130,000 coins to complete that's how much both of the sbc's cost together the first one costs around 30 and then the second one costs around 90,000 coins taking a look at his in-game stats five and nine's all right medium medium's all right three star weak foot is not very usable um and then five star skill which is actually pretty uh good as well and fun to use shooting not very good finishing does lack a lot pace same thing uh passing of course is phenomenal same as dribbling very very good dribbling and passing stats defending is not the greatest apart from intercept Stamina is low, jumping is alright, but 5 foot 9, you're not going to win any headers, especially when you only have 78 jumping. Um, and it's just not a very, very, like, amazing car. Like, yeah, he's going to feel good on the ball and have good passing, but apart from that, it's not the greatest. But yeah, drop a like on this video, guys. Uh, I know I've said it a bunch of times, but uh, we can hit at least 18. That would be really, really cool to see. I would really appreciate that appreciate that we're gonna start out with kepa arlizabalaga in net the upgraded version the 84 we're gonna go for nacho and rao albiao as our two center backs with sergio Sendro getting the strong link at the left back spot jimenez is actually gonna go at right back switch those around actually i think that's how it goes william carvalho is gonna go at right center mid from la liga illa remendi at center center mid gets the spanish links with the two center backs neto at left center mid um gets the brazilian links with um dembele on the right hand side as well will and Jose at the striker spot and then our left wing and final player is going to be Felipe Anderson upgraded card who um, is going to finish linking up everyone no position modifiers and no loyalty needed for this squad just buy the players off the transfer market put them into the SPC and you should get your SPC complete this 85 rating squad, you get a 45k back one team of the weekend, 85 rating with 70 chemistry. Uh, we're going to start off with pairing in net from Juventus with Miranda and De Vry going in at the two center back spots as well. We're going to go for right back in Bernardo Silva and our in form from this week is going to be Vanekin from the Belgian League at left left back. Uh, Kadira is going to be our CDM as well with Ricardo Karezma going in at the right midfield spot. Lucas Leva. And Milinkovic Savage are actually going to be our two um, center mids right here from the Calcio A. Get strong to each other. Insignia is going to go at left wing. And then our striker is going to be Edin Dzeko. No position modifiers and no low team needed. I guess you can kind of switch these around. Yeah, you can get a bit more chem there, um, I guess. But it's not really necessary because without Perrine's loyalty, you would get exactly 72 chemistry. Um, so you guys would get the chemistry no matter what, even if you don't have loads, you just buy the players off the transfer market and you will complete Tiago. 130,000 coins for this card. Um, it, it, I would say if you guys have like a bunch of tr untradeable cards that you want to trade in uh, for a 90 rated card, then that's it, it's a very good SPC to complete. But if you guys like want to get him just because you think he looks good, he, I just, let me just tell you guys this, he's not going to be very good in game. He's going to be all right. He's going to be fun to play with because of the dribbling and then I guess the agility, the shooting, passing, all that stuff. Uh, especially since he has, to, he has the five star skills, five hit nine, low center of gravity. But apart from that, it's just not a card that is too appealing and too meta if you guys want to think of it that way. But yeah, guys, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day, and I'm out.